So I just graduated from college and I guess as the first step kind of into the real world, do you have like three roundabout healthy habits that you think I should be following to maintain my healthy credit? Good question. So um, pay all your bills on time. <laughs> That's definitely one that everybody should be doing. Um, if you are going to be, you know, getting started with credit, don't shy away from it. I know you and I talked about how it was like, oh, I don't want to like do this. We got an advanced group here at the table. You guys already have really good financial habits from what you've told me. Just apply it to the credit cards or just apply it to building credit or apply it to getting started with credit. So I think that would be a really good one. Uh, and then when you do get started with credit, uh, always make sure you're paying off that balance in full. I promise you, if you're just able to do that, <laughs> you're gonna be fine um, and over time you know as you go into adulthood there's gonna be different kinds of credit you know at your age you're probably starting with credit cards that's okay to get started with it and then it could look like a car loan it could look like a mortgage later on so you're gonna be building out that financial resume as you kind of figure out what it is that you want out of your your life the same way you would with a job you know how you kind of build a resume trying to figure stuff out so I was wondering why a financial resume is important. So a financial resume is important. You may not feel this way now because you're still really young. So you may not be thinking about buying a house or getting a car or starting a business like you said you wanted to do. You may not be thinking about those things now, but they're gonna come up later. And if you don't have that financial resume built, it's gonna get difficult to get approved for those things and reach these milestones in our financial lives. So is there, in regards to credit health and, and your credit score, is there anything that I should be worried about when dealing with it? Or how do I not be so worried about credit scores and health in general? Great question. So here's the thing, people obsess over their credit scores. So number one, they think there's only one score. It's not necessarily true. There's lots of different scoring models um, and different lenders use different ones. So that's the first thing you need to know is like it's not just one number. There's a little bit more that goes into it. The second thing is that if you have fi healthy financial habits, you're gonna be fine. So if you're paying your bills on time, you know, if you have credit cards and you're paying off the balance in full each month, if you're using less than 30% of your available credit, you'll be fine. And then you really don't have to stress so much about the credit score. So what do you wish you would have known when you first started with credit? That is an awesome question. So I wish that I would have known that I didn't have to be so afraid of credit because I already had financial habits in place that were actually pretty healthy. So you mentioned to me that you're saving a lot of money right now. You mentioned that you don't tend to overspend. I was the same way. I had already put healthy habits in that sense, but I was still scared of getting you know, starting my credit situation because I was like, well, I don't want to get into trouble. The same thing you guys were telling me. And I had to realize, well, you know what? This is a part of the overall financial picture. And I had to have a talk with myself where I realized, wait a minute, I've done okay up until now. Why wouldn't I be able to manage credit? Why wouldn't I be able to start building credit? So I feel like if I would have had that realization earlier on, I would be further along.